Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. When the March Madness begins, it is time for women to gamble for the money. March Madness has arrived with visions of Cinderella teams dancing in the minds of athletic directors. Survive and drive, they say, and the conference proceeds will flow. For schools and basketball-centric conferences, they make their money. But for women basketball teams have different expectations that are buried deep in the NCAA culture. Athletes and teams relish the opportunity to compete for an NCAA championship, but the pressure is different. Unlike men, there are no financial expectations entire Division I conferences have been built around creating depth and success in the men's basketball tournament as one president told me, all the decisions we make are designed around that. The men's earnings show it. Every win in the tournament 2023 is worth about $340,000, if four teams from the same conference win in advance, the conference will receive at least $1.36 million US dollars converted to a six-year moving average. While not FBS football money, it still counts. The old logic is easy to follow. A basketball-centric conference is one where men's basketball is a primary focus and a source of pride for its member institutions, and where the conference as a whole is known for producing quality basketball teams and players. Conferences have always been founded around the power and potential of all men's basketball and soccer. It is about time this evolved. After Sedona Prince released her famous 2021 TikTok video about the differences in men's and women's tournament experiences, the NCAA commissioned a detailed three-part report that focused on the organization's lack of growth in advertising and support of the women's football. A taste it is clear that the NCAA was heavily focused on getting more revenue from the men's tournament, which justified the staffing imbalances. Knight Commission CEO Amy Perko said they were told the NCAA's Transformation Committee would address equity issues in its final report, but only acknowledged that the 